Hey everyone, welcome back to a new series in Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson, and we're going to talk for at least the next week or so about progressive linear loading peaking strategies. So if you have listened to any of our podcasts before on this topic of different methodologies for peaking, specifically the progressive linear load, we're going to really zero in on how to employ that one strategy across a wide variety of contexts as well as different categories, whether you're a bikini competitor or a, a bodybuilder. But uh, one of the best things we could probably do, Adam, is not just assume everybody has listened to all of our content. So let's, let's talk a little bit about what it is and compare it to the other traditional ways of, of peaking or loading. So I'll let you have the first stab at describing what progressive linear loading is. Yeah. So to describe progressive linear loading, we have to kind of talk about other dynamics of peaking, which we have front loading, we have back loading, we have undulating loading, um, we have, um, I believe Cliff Wilson uh, invented the rapid car back load. So we have all of those strategies and a lot of those kind of describe where you place the cards. Well, progressive linear load is a slow, very, uh, you know, uh, very gradual process moving carbs off into peak week and uh, you know of course I always like to tell people when we talk about peaking don't be afraid to pivot from you know what your load is so don't feel like you have to stay locked into that just because you said you're doing a front load back load you can pivot from your strategy if needed based on how you look. Um, so with that being said, progressive linear loading, um, there are a lot of different strategies on how you can linear load, um, which we'll talk about in the future. But the linear load is um, carbs continually moving upward is the basis of it. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and since you gave Cliff Wilson a shout out there, I think that's a great thing. I, I always forget that this particular kind of method, the progressive linear load, I've been doing now for probably five, six, seven years. And Paul Ravella, who found it to be extremely easy, foolproof, he loves it. His clients come in much better because of it. He said, Joe, we got to name that. We got to give it like a cool name so people know what you're talking about. So, so the branding for progressive linear load has to fall with, uh, with Paul Ravella. But yeah, something I've been, I've been working on and perfecting almost because it was just obvious. You know, once, once you see a client go through that, and I would say, Adam, to your point, it was probably going to be kind of a front load where a client just kept needing more and more and more food. So it ended up being a progressive linear load. And uh, when I saw how well that worked, it was something I tried again. Uh, you know how experimentation goes is how almost every discovery is made just, just almost by accident. But uh, you're exactly right. So the, the front load and the back load, where you place carbs, the, the front load would be at the very beginning of the week. That's something I started doing at the very beginning of my career because the back load, where you completely deplete your body for the first few days, then you load at the end of the week, was all there was. That was traditional, conventional, old school peaking. So I always thought that was ridiculous and we needed to kind of find that glycogen ceiling early. Don't risk the massive spillover on the back end and then have to taper back a little bit. So now you've loaded, but now you're restricting a little bit. And so water volume is going in two different directions. You've got, you got water, uh, you got, you got minerals, you have carbs all going in different directions. And even if you timed it decently well, it's still not your best look. So if we can get those carbohydrates in and then just keep tapping up against that ceiling, see how high we can go now you have much less uh, resilience uh, or you have more resilience to those kind of mishaps of spilling over. Uh, and so, you know, my experience, Adam, has just been it's, it's, it's almost, as Paul says, too easy. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just too easy to make people look their best. Yeah, I, I like that you describe glycogen ceiling. Um, I always kind of describe that to clients as uh, coloring in the lines on a picture. And uh, once you find where those barriers are, you know how far you can go. Now, there's always the dynamics of your metabolism kind of changing through the process. But that's where we learn how to pivot. Absolutely. So guys, stay tuned. We are going to go through another five or six episodes, starting with exactly how to manage that progressive linear load 
depending on how you are approaching peak week. So we will see you in the next episode.